All right, folks. You guys know I did the review on this, man, probably two, two and a half, three years ago. And I got so many comments on how to change the blade in this circular saw. Um, I don't know what makes it any different than any other circular blade, but I'll show you how to do that. Um, and real quick, guys, this is the stuff that I got for 75% off. I'll show you the receipt here. Pretty cool. This was all... only reason I'm showing you this because you guys know I got my blade there this was a $20 blade this is a six and a half inch circular uh, but this oh, it's 18 tooth yeah 18 got this now this is, was usually $20 I got it for five bucks again check your home uh, your lows there 45% uh, percent off a uh, 75% off I got all this stuff guys this these sockets here were like two dollars a piece some of them are 75 cents. I got a one inch, look, check that out, that's nice. Very nice. And I got this nice uh, uh, nail set, guys, three piece. I think this ended up, it was $9.99, I got it for $2.50. Crazy, craziness. At your local load. All right, so, just like any other circular saw, guys. Right, got your little Allen wrench here. And you got this stop button here. This will stop the blade from moving, right? So, the first thing we want to do, let's kind of set that there. All right, you're gonna to want to hold that with your thumb there, right? Get your little Allen wrench. All right. Now, as you move this, this button right here, your stop button. All right. Well. It, will go into place once you start moving it around. Okay. All right, right, right there. All right. Take your screw out there. You can let go of that button now. Now you wanna. Slide your blade out there. Sometimes the guard gets in the way. Kinda just gotta play with it a little bit. Oh, it should be just about there. All right, pretty simple. And you take your new blade. Obviously, make sure it's a six and a half. Where's my uh, cutter? All right, you got this little film on the side. You want to take that off there. Take all your wrapping off and you're good to go. All right, you're gonna do it the same way you took it off. Again, the hardest part is wedging this inside here. You gotta make sure you get it underneath that guard. Probably better angle this way. She's in there. I'm gonna find the thread. All right, now you want to hit that button again, all right? Your stop button. This will stop the blade from moving.
happy days. All right, I'm not gonna go too crazy, but make it as tight as you can. You take your Allen wrench, you stick it right back in the hole there for when you need it the next time, and you're good to go. Now I got a nice 40 tooth blade instead of the 16 tooth uh, porter kit. This wasn't too bad, guys. Um, you know, if you can upgrade, it's definitely worth it with these, you know, a lot of these blades that come with these saws. But nice, cleaner cut, obviously, with a 40 tooth. I'll show you right here. Got my line. Much smoother, much, much smoother.